so I spend a lot of time in the intelligence committee, and I, so I watch day to day kind of what we're doing both abroad and here. And um, you know, so what has your money bought you in the last uh, in the last you know, twelve years or so? Um, the apparatus is, is pretty spectacular. I mean, look, you can't be a hundred percent on this stuff. But the CIA and the NSA and all of those programs. It's not a it's not a coincidence that we haven't had a major attack since 9/11. There have been some very smart people with a lot of money behind them thinking about how to pull off a major attack. And the fact is, that on 9/11 they got caught unawares, but they've done a lot of work and they've become very very good. And um, I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of confidence that it will be almost impossible to pull off a major attack that involves emails and phone calls and training camps in Pakistan like 9/11. You know, that, that again you can you, know, you can never be 100 percent sure. But our people are very good. I don't think we're at much risk for um, for a 9/11 type event, something that kills thousands of people. The flip side of that is that what you saw in San Bernardino or what you saw in Boston, two people who don't communicate, aren't emailing, they just decide they get angry, they get they get um, uh, radicalized, and they buy weapons, which is easy to do in this country. We're never going to be able to stop that. There's nothing we can do to stop that. I mean, two of us at this table could get really angry, and though we're untrained, we could kill a bunch of people this afternoon, and there's no way the FBI would know about it. Um, and Let me push back if I can. Yeah.